the Boxing Day spending blitz is well and truly underway. Joining me live now is Rob Bates, a consumer shopping expert at PayPal Australia. Rob, thanks so much for your time. How many Aussies are expected to go out and hit the shops today? Yeah, it was actually surprising for us. PayPal's new research shows that 41% are planning to hit the stores today for Boxing Day sales, despite 44% having already shot the Black Friday sales in November. Yeah, wow. Are the discounts actually better? I've always wondered this. Or is this a lot of hype about this day? We, we build up to it. We talk about it every year. Is it actually a better discount or could you get a better deal on Black Friday? Look, the popularity has fluctuated quite a bit. Black Friday took over the Boxing Day sales last year, maybe the year before that as well. But uh, Boxing Day is still right up there with one of the most popular sales moments. It can be a really good time to uh, save money on things that you need. But we're warning people this year that in between Christmas and New Year's, that hazy sort of Twixmas period, um, it, we do risk retail regret um, for a few factors. So we're telling people to, you know, consider their budgets, what their shopping list is, and to not make impulse uh, purchases and end up with uh, unnecessary financial debt in the new year. It used to be a day where lots of people would head to those big department stores. We saw it on Pitt Street this morning, still plenty of people doing that. But are we seeing a shift more towards people buying things online? Yeah, there's a significant portion that say that they prefer shopping online. This is for a range of reasons, um, one of which you just referenced, the you know avoiding crowds, avoiding traffic and parking, but also people say that it's a bit easier to uh, price compare when you're shopping online. You can sometimes find better deals when you're online than in-store. And we've even heard from people that uh, it helps them stick to their uh, target spending list, sorry, shopping list, uh, strip more strictly because they're not being enticed by walking past heavily discounted items as they go through stores. They're just being bombarded with messages on their phone every two minutes or Instagram, wherever you go. Are there signs, though, at the moment people are pairing back? You know, you do see a lot of people out there spending and talk of this as the last big hurrah before people cut back. But are people pairing back amid the cost of living crunch? Well, what we actually saw through our research is that during the cost of living crunch, um, we actually saw that people were using uh, shopping sales moments as a way to reduce spending, save money. So a lot of people were doing their Christmas shopping more than ever during the Boxing Day, sorry, the Black Friday sales, so that they were getting discounted items you know, all ready for Christmas. Well, Rob Bates, thanks so much for your time. Good tips there for people thinking of hitting the shops or staying home and doing it online. Appreciate your time. Thanks so much for your time. Cheers.